What is going on guys, it is James here and today I'm bringing you my first After Effects tutorial. So finally my Camtasia has decided to work after weeks of not working and deciding to just not even open. But today has finally opened and I decided to seize the moment and make my first tutorial. So the first tutorial is a slide transition tutorial. And it's just a simple effect that you can use in your edits, your OCs, or your montages. So I'll just show you a little preview of the clip which I used in my glitch mini edit for abstract films. <laughs> As you saw there, it was like a little film reel slot spin effect, whatever, I don't really know, to be honest. So, what I suggest you do when you start is mark the points on where you are going to make this like transition happen. So, as you can see here, I have added markers, which you can do so by Shift A or the little star which is on the weird number pad at the side of your keyboard. So once you have done that, you want to make the work area so it's at the certain point. So if you click B, so that's the beginning, and at the end point, you want to click N, which is finish. So once you have done that, you want to then add a new adjustment layer and trim that to the work area which I'm just going to do by shift and s split the clip so just do that real quickly oh, what you want, don't want to do is split the clip the other clip as well which is a bit stupid of me just want to highlight the clip and then split the layer and there we are there we have the clip is now trimmed to the work area and you are ready to go so what you want to do is then find the preset or effect distort not distort offset which is there and it's under distort not distort and then you just want to drag it on top of the adjustment layer so you want to then go to the beginning of the clip and keyframe shift center 2 and then go to the end of the clip and you can either drag it down, which does that, and you can see the clip moving down. Or if you want a nice, simple, clean, equal finish, just reset it, click in the box, and do the little Shift A or the Star logo. And I like to go for NAN, so if you just do NAN, press Enter, and then that should do it for you which looks very nice so far but there's only one problem as you can see it goes here from my friend Wajard to straight away my friend Tur Turgy but it's just straight to the next clip there's no real nice it's just jumpy so what you want to do is go to the beginning click on the second clip on top click T for opacity Keyframe it and edit the value to zero. Then go halfway through the clip and keyframe it again at 100. So, as you can see, the clip now fades into the next clip, which is very nice. But you cannot add any motion blur as you are not changing anything the clips you are basically manipulating it so to add some add some blur what you want to do is to look for directional blur which is under blur and sharpen if you're going into the effects and presets tab and drag that on top of the of the if, uh, adjustment layer and then you will bring up like this you want the little pointy thing here up to hop or up down whichever suits you I'll uh, we'll have it down, and then depending on how much blur you want, I don't tend to go for much. So if we put it about five, should we go for four? Let's go for four, because um, too much blur will just make it look like I don't know, a bit shit to be honest. So it goes from real nice and then blurred, and then the transition from blurred to not blurred look crap. So as you can see, there's a little bit of blur. 
with the nice fade out transition. So thereabouts you are done. So just preview the clip by clicking play or RAM previewing, but I think my RAM preview is playing up for me today, I don't know why. So uh, the next tutorial I will do is a reverse shot sound clip and I will do a CC lens. As you can see, there's a nice, well it's a bit fast there, so if we just extend it about there and extend, no, what's it doing? And that there, so now preview it. So as you can see, it reloads, nice little spin, it does that, just extend it a little bit more, apply it again, as you can see rendering does take a bit of time depending on the clip size and quality, so if it's in HD 59.94 or 29.97, you can see nicely spins for a transition which is good for OCs and mini edits and montages. So thanks for watching. If you've got any problems with this just drop in a comment or a message. If you want me to do a tra not a transition a a tutorial on another transition or something you're struggling on, please just drop us a comment or send a message. Please like or if you hated it, dislike it if you so want and subscribe and thanks for watching